Hey there people, as you know, Elementor has just updated their page builder and they have added a couple new features that made it possible to create designs like this one. Creating a double exposure effect was only possible in software like Photoshop, Affinity Designer, but now you can do it right in Elementor page builder. Now let's head over to our editor and see how we can create this exact design. If you want to see a more in-depth overview of new Elementor features, you can go and check this out on our channel. Now let's go and create a new section. They have just introduced the right click, so now you can right click on elements and see what you can do with them. But in this particular case, what we're going to do with the layout is change it width to full width and stretch the section and change the height to like the maximum height that we can get just because we want to see the uh, entire picture. All right, we're pretty much done in here. Now let's head over to the style tab choose the background normal and the background top classic. We're not gonna choose any color. Now let's go and pick an image. As you see, this image has, it has white background, but it has little slight tints of gray right here at the top, so it's not gonna be a perfect result. If you want your picture to be on a totally white background, it is better to cut this out, removing the background. I have done it in Photoshop and uploaded an image with no background at all. So now what we should do is tweak the position of our image. Let's put it on center left, the attachment should be scroll, repeat, now repeat and the size contain. Alright, now let's go to background overlay where these new Elementor features are hidden. Here they are, CSS filters and blend mode. What we need to do here is go to background type normal and classic. Let's add our image. I've chosen this image of this CD and insert media. Alright, you see now that these two images are overlap each other, but this is not the result that we want. In our final design, this city is only visible inside the girl's silhouette. So what we need to do is change the blending mode of this background overlay. The position, I guess the position is fine, but just to make sure, just to make sure everything is alright, let's just repeat the same settings that we did in the case with the girl's image, like that. Uh, the opacity, I guess it's fine and we can tweak it later anyways. Here is the blending modes. They are, here the settings almost the same as you have in Photoshop. So you can play around with them and see what result suits your purposes the best way. So in our case, for our purposes, the best one will be lighten or screen. Let's go with screen and the CSS filters. What they do is adding you more possibilities to change the blurriness of your image. So we can blur the city, but we don't want to do it. You can change the brightness. You can make it a little brighter. You can change the contrast, just move this a little up and the saturation just to make it more saturated, more colorful and rich in colors. So here it is. As you see, it is pretty easy, it takes you a couple of clicks and it doesn't require any coding skills or any designer skills. Also, I recommend you go and check Elementor Marketplace on templatemaster.com slash Elementor Marketplace to see cool Elementor add-ons, amazing WordPress themes, 100% compatible with Elementor and some awesome Elementor templates. Thank you for watching, see you the next time. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this tutorial, leave your thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.